Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Lord's Lounge. Do you ever wonder um, do's and don'ts for dates? Uh, ladies and gents, you're going on your first date. What are you supposed to do? What are you not supposed to do? How do you do it yourself? I'll tell you how I do it myself. My guest will share her bits. Welcome. Thank you very much. I go by the name Edith Otieno and I'm so happy to be part of this conversation. So come with us and get to know what we have in store for you. Join us guys, Lord Eras, your host. Welcome guys to this episode where we're discussing about uh, date etiquette, the romance world of the 21st century. Basically, do's and don'ts uh, of going to a date, not dating. Uh, with me today is Edith. Welcome, Edith. Thank you. She's here to give us a perspective from ladies of what they think about uh, dates, specifically first dates. Edith, welcome once again. Thank you very much. Tell me, um, I had a conversation last week uh, on my Instagram page. Mm -hmm. This was about how you want to be invited to a date first, a language. Uh, why, or is it an issue if I invite you, if I use local language, say Swahili, and if I use English, is there a difference? Uh, I don't think so. I don't mm. think there's a difference, but speaking for myself, <laughs> as a Luo, <laughs> Really I, I, I really prefer English. Oh, you really yeah, prefer English? Yeah, I prefer English. It's uh -huh. more romantic, okay. honestly. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. So then, uh, okay, now I'll cast you out. Uh, mm -hmm. Take me through, like, um, what, what should this conversation be about? Uh, uh, let me say, who gets to choose the date location? Should I, should I float it to you? Um, yeah, and anything that goes with that. I think for the first time, the guy should be the one coming up with the location, you know, because if you ask me, it should be a call, uh, it should be, you should just check on your capability, you know, because if you ask me to pick up a location, I could be like, oh, I want to go to Radisson Blue, but deep down, you cannot go to Radisson Blue, you know? Oh, yeah, or I can oh, be yeah. like, I want to go to Chicken Inn, and you're like, where? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Come on, you're better than Chicken Inn, uh -huh, you know? Uh -huh. So I feel like for the first time, it should come from the guy. Can Having be like, studied the lady. Yes, yeah, yes. Paid attention on a job. Exactly. You know, no, at that point, you still don't know me. And mm. also, this is the point whereby I also get to know your capability. Okay. Yes. Okay. This is where I sell my agenda. I sell. Exactly. I decide that I want to be Ruto. Jose. Yes. <laughs> Campaign for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Uh, next yeah. week vibe. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. So, um, personally, the way I do it, mm -hmm. uh, as I ask my woman out for a date, mm -hmm. I start from, uh, even before I get to the location, mm -hmm. I start from dressing you. Okay. I'll send out a dress. Mm -hmm. A pair of shoes, okay. a, a bouquet of flowers, All just right. to warm you up, and uh, anything else I want to drop in there. This is day one? Yes. Wow. To lure you out for the date. Wow. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so, so then it, it grows. All right. It grows. But now here is where you need to pick your mind. Mm-hmm. Uh, um... I've, I've sent out this, uh, this, uh, you've loved it or you didn't love it. So now you've said I picked the location. I have my location. Mm -hmm. So again, where's the preference? You as Edith, mm -hmm. everyone will have their own preference. Do you want me to pick you up? Do you want to take a cab and come to me? Forget about my opinion and how I do it. I want to get it from you. Well, speaking for myself, I would prefer if I get picked up anytime, any day. Or it could be like, it could be like, um, uh, we are meeting at Hotel X, you know, at this time, you know, so then I make my entrance there. But anyway, 
I prefer it's more romantic when a guy picks me up. You my, get my, out, yeah. open the door for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, guys, that, that's that, very true. From, yeah. Yeah, from their perspective. Yeah. If you can't pick her up, just go pick her up because now when you pick her up, you get to open the door for her. Mm-hmm. You get to first impression. Yes, first you know. impression. Yeah. Uh, you get to maybe if you carried with you a necklace Get Ooh, to around her guys, this is a first date. You know what I'm saying? First date, to yeah. say. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, th- that's now we are at that level. Okay. Um, I've picked you up. Of mm-hmm. course, now mm-hmm. all the things I've mentioned: mm-hmm. the necklace, mm-hmm. what have you? I've opened the door. Now we are making our way to the venue. Assuming now, let's flip it. Assuming you are coming to the venue yourself. Okay. I have mm-hmm. a problem with the. Uh, timekeeping okay does punctuality like bother you it does it does yeah i'm very big on time mm-hmm. i keep mm-hmm. time and for some reason it's always a plus five or minus five minutes mm-hmm. for me mm-hmm. you know and that applies both uh to my dating life and to my friendship life, you oh, know, yeah. mm-hmm. and I'm going to yeah. meet my friends or my partner, Amani Nani. It has to be a plus or minus five minutes. If you are late, I'll just be like, okay, so that's Istoria, just it. Ati. Be punctual, by the way. Just, yeah. And and I'm not trying to attack any gender. I'm, I just want to be very much fair, you know. As women, we have a tendency of, you know, showing up late. At a one hour late. For a particular reason? I don't, I want to make an entrance, you know, oh. or it's, maybe you're just applying your makeup, but come on, you guys planned this date earlier. Yes. You know, you had enough time to prepare yes, yes. and I feel like you should just respect someone's time. Mm-hmm. You don't necessarily have to be like there at 9 p.m. on dot, but yeah. at least if you're going to be late, let it be maybe not 10 minutes heavy, mm-hmm. you know. Then don't think, make yeah uh, i mean if i was a man that would be a turn off for me honestly it is, it is for me it should be a turn off don't communicate it exactly if, if you're you running don't, late yeah please communicate please communicate yes i'm always heavy on time so mm-hmm. please consider that yeah, while so going on dates. time management mm-hmm. okay now we are this restaurant i think <clears throat> i need i think i feel the need to remind guys this chivalry is not dead is mm-hmm. it? I don't think it is. Um, there's this mas- uh, toxic masculinity in men mm-hmm, mm-hmm. that makes you feel if you do certain things, uh-huh. then you, you're you transferring your power. There's this guy on Twitter, um, I'm forgetting his, his name. Uh, she said me, I'm one, one of those <laughs> uh, recently wrote that uh-huh. if, you, if you go, not really submit, if you do such things, you're transferring your power. To a lady, I think there are levels to that. Personally, I think there are levels to that. Kunele level kifika ndio na transfer power. Anyway, my point, the, the point mm. I was coming to. Let's pull chairs for, lad- for ladies. Demwe mu we mnye unapuliwa chair. Please mm-hmm. act like you, you, the chair is being pulled for you. Mm-hmm. Don't don't go there like go there expecting the chair to be pulled. Usifanye kukuena do that. that Bring in your feminine energy, you exactly. know. Exactly. Let the man be the masculine guy that he is and be the feminine lady that you are. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Then now the date has begun. Okay. Over to you. How do you want it? Or how do you like it? So when uh, when the date begins, mm-hmm. I'll be like, could you please get the waiter's attention for me? Of course, sit up in your sauti. I'll just be myself because I can't be there. Like waiter, you know, it's uh-huh. sound. It's just so off, you know. Yeah, we are talking yeah. about etiquette, also, right? Yeah, yes, yes. Etiquette, yeah. I'll ask my partner mm-hmm. to get the waiter's attention for me. Ama, if the waiter is there, you know, mm-hmm. then I'll place. I re- I'll revise my menu. And by the way, before you go on a date it's advisable uh, it's advisable that you go through the menu you can find it on the web mm-hmm. just go through the menu at least at ukifika hapo you know uh, what they are serving you're familiar with the menu 
know that you want to revise the menu for like a whole 10 minutes mm -hmm. you know yeah so when i get there just place your order you know and another thing that can be a red flag for me if my partner um okay we are not partners yet but if my date is rude to the waiter mm -hmm. that's a red flag that's always red flag. check on that yes kuna nini hapa na ufanye haraka i'm like uh uh <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. be, just be kind to them so revise the menu place your order mm -hmm. And that will just be it. Th th that tells you something, guys. Uh, not all restaurants have menus on the web to be revised. So, again, that tells you guys, do your homework. It's either you're going on a date or not. You decide. <laughs> There's uh -huh. no timeline like that. You mm -hmm. have like a damn date mm -hmm. within a week of meeting, within a month of meeting. Yeah. Take your time. Take your time. Prepare properly. Yeah. Now, on this table, <clears throat> mm. uh, I have a problem with the picking your, 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 your teeth. Ah. Speaking while you're chewing food. Mm -hmm. Yes. Eti uh, uh, dinner table etiquette. Yeah. On the table. Mm. So if you have to pick your teeth, mm -hmm. there's a way you cover your mouth. It's true. Yes. Yeah. Uh, then chewing food, you don't have to talk while you're chewing food. Yeah. Just, just be patient, wait. Yeah. Another question I have. Yeah. Is there real love? In these streets? Yes. There's is real, there real love. love? Yes. Lying. There's real love, guys. You're lying. I say, kuna mapenzi. I'm assuming he's asking this because of how Nairobi has been lately. Yes, yes. And truth be told, I think, no, I don't, I don't think. I know that it's real love. Um, love nowadays is more of a transactional thing. That's why I'm saying it's not love. But no, there is, there is. It's there, are people, there are people who are still intentional. There are people who are still intentional. Intentional to be transactional. No, 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 oh, come on. Yeah. <laughs> Intentional in that I, I love you, you know, and my actions, uh, my action says how much I love you, you know, mm -hmm. by words, by action and everything. And Aki love do exist. But the Nairobi nowadays that we are in, it's more of, even if you ask a lady out, she'd be like, um, utani pea pesa ngapi? I'm like, yes, baby girl, yes, relax. Yes. We're just trying to like get ladies, to know each yeah, other. They're preaching money know? more because yeah. men are preaching what are you bringing to the table more. Exactly. I think this Thank conversation you. needs to go mm -hmm. back to where it was. Thank you. Let's go back to where it was. Me, I'm a traditional. I, I, I prefer yes. the traditional kind of love. Yeah. I don't want the today's kind Let's of love. I told you bring to the table. Let's leave what are you bringing, what, mm -hmm. what are you giving me in return mm -hmm. out of it. Yes, what are you giving me in return? Yes. Let's, yeah. let's just have that, that, that let the energy of. flow. Yeah, let the energy flow. We can't be meeting on the first day and you're like, Sasa unakuja kwangulini. And the thing is, this is what ladies are doing these days. And I don't blame them for what they are doing. You see, if a man, day one, of us going to the day or on a date, you're like, so unakuja kwangulini. When are you coming to my house? You know, mm. if you bring that, of course, when you're asking me to come to your house, it's more. it sounds like... Come on, let's go have, yes, you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. if you want to bring in that topic, now this is where the um, money also comes in. Because mm -hmm. you want to make mm -hmm. me uncomfortable, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'd also make you uncomfortable. So in real sense, we're not being honest with each other. Yes. We, you're after something, I'm after now, something. Now that's a transactional Which relationship, yeah. Which is a bigger percentage of what I see around. True. Transactional. True. True. Yeah, People me. are not intentional. Yeah. But I still be I believe in true love. It's there. You're saying uh, love exists. It does. It does. Yeah. Okay. Let's assume it does. Why then do we <laughs> have uh, this belief in the streets and even among us as as, uh, as human beings that de uh, ladies go out on dates for food? In the, in the same breath, have you ever gone out purposely for the food to eat? No, I'm not going to speak on what I've done or what I haven't <laughs> done, you know, because it's not like, <laughs> you yeah. know, so much about my personal life. I don't know whether I have or I haven't. I don't know. Yeah. But I know that some ladies do it. Most ladies. Most. Most ladies. I don't know, but... If at all, I 
was to do that, I would do it if the guy <laughs> keeps on talking about, <laughs> um, you know, the, the things we were talking about earlier. So when am I seeing you? When are you coming to my ah. house? I'll be like, okay, I win is a win. You want to make me uncomfortable? Me, I don't want to ask money from you. <laughs> yeah, we wanted to meet. <laughs> Java ni kule alafu niende. I mean, uh, maybe I, okay. I I think that's why ladies do it. So then it I honestly is. think so because if someone is intentional and she wants um a relationship mm. with you, mm. a relationship, a real one, she wouldn't mm. be just showing up to it. And why do you guys show up for dates when? Uh Okay, okay, you're planning to just eat this guy's food. Then why why do you go all the, all, all that way? Rather, let me phrase it for why not? Uh, why, why not? not? What do you yeah, mean, why, why not? not? Well done today. Oh, so women are evil. No, yes, not all. <laughs> We are talking about what most people do uh, nowadays. Okay. So, uh, like I said, if someone is not into the relationship, I mean, a genuine person will just be like. Um, sorry, but I don't feel the same way, you uh, know. Yes, but I think we should be honest. We should be honest. And that brings the aspect of, because ladies say, they get pissed off when you say, uh, a guy asks you for your photos. Why do you get uncomfortable? Oh my God, why can't you just ask me to meet? I mean, why didn't you, why can't you just ask us to meet so that so how we, many, how you many get to see? Okay, it's a turn off. Do not zoom, zoom closer. Guys, <laughs> it is a turn off. It is a big turn off if you ask me. I mean, why would you ask me to send you my pictures? If we met on social media, assuming, eh? Perfect Thank example. You. Thank you. Tinder. On Tinder, you've only posted photos, maybe uh, your back, your face, uh -huh. nothing of the lower With body. With filters on, eh? You, you want me to go huh? spend 20,000 on you on a date, not having seen That's on Tinder. if you're worth my trouble. That's on Tinder. Unona, Tinder is one of the... That's uh, exceptional. No, that's on Tinder because... Um, Maybe you are in a different country or something, okay? That's mm -hmm. way different. Come on. It's okay if you ask me to send you um, my pictures. But no, we is. are both in Nairobi and then you're like, hey, send me your pictures. It is a turn off. Why like, is it a turn off? Um, that's my question. Why is it? I want to know if you're my type. Listen. I wouldn't go to listen, you, taking listen, ladies on dates. Listen, listen, okay? Yeah. Sorry to cut you short. Um, it feels good sending pictures to a man who takes part in, or, or at least someone who plays a responsibility in your life, like someone who is responsible at least for something in your life. That, that, that I don't if, disagree with. Listen, listen, my point is, if it's my man asking me to send him my pictures, that is very much okay. But a different man, someone whom you haven't even met, come on. It is. You know, the, you want to, the dating site is basically a supermarket. Goods are displayed. Mm -mm. I mean, oh, men are physical beings. Okay. We first attract uh, through the eye. We need to see. So I'm on the shelf picking items, but then I'm asking you to display yourself on the shelf. Okay, not display, bad word, but to present to me so that I get to know, yes, you're my type. So I'll go, I'll go all, 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 in, all out. If on, that on makes day. me uncomfortable, then you know the next question I'll ask you. Because mm. for me, that makes me uncomfortable. Mm. I'll ask you, then send me a picture of your bank statement. Which is fair and square. A win is a win. Yeah, a win is a win. Fair and square. Okay. Just, just don't take offense with it. Okay. Because I know men would really love to do that. Oh, to send a... Is yes, they wouldn't mind. Men, if you disagree <laughs> with me, comment section. But they wouldn't mind. Uh, uh, no, guys. But don't make me go on a hundred dates with a person who's not my type. Mm -mm. Because... The truth is, people meet on social media, hmm. dating apps. People literally live on dating apps. So don't take offense. Anyway, let's share that. And by the way, another hmm. thing, I think people should put more effort on their dress code while going people, on. People, you mean men? Everyone, or everyone? both. Oh, both. Okay. I'm talking about the first date, Sawa. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not asking you to go and buy that expensive Gucci shirt to show off, but just dress nicely because first impression matters. Mm -hmm. For ladies, um, it's okay to dress the way you want. Cindy, yeah, you can dress kulingana na mudiako and all that. But on the first day, like mm -hmm. I said, mm -hmm. you will be addressed 
according to how you've dressed, you've dressed. Ah, sour okay. so if if you are if you are going on a date and you want this person to um Maybe you want something more serious. I don't know. I, I don't know how to put this. <laughs> uh, Just be yourself. Sawa. Lakini in my own opinion, unaskia my own opinion, mm. you'll be addressed how you've dressed. Speaking of dressing, uh, for me dressing on geza hapo cologne. Please, usikuje kama una luka. Usikuje kama una luka nguvu, please. Eh? Ata ile ya siriji ni sawa. Wacha uh-huh. wacha kusplash hiyo inaitwa ngazi. Eh eh hiyo 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 eh. Yeah. Just try. Usikuje kama unanuka nguvu for a date ladies. Sa. And men as well equally. Equally. Akolon goes a long mm, long yeah. way. Yeah. yeah. You just don't know but Akolon does goes a long, long way. Mzoni na triganga. Iwe na trigger hiyo memory. I mean uh-huh. Uh-huh. two months later and like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. miss the way that you know, that guy smells so nice. Although you know? it also works again. <laughs> <laughs> you say let's say umesha you been served hey. yeah, character development you're trying to heal yeah. then unatembea tao unasikia that scent unasema oh shit yeah unsiana anapiga luko anaweka weight mingi kwa luko alafu unakuja na jazzy mandi kwa number 10 neima bro <laughs> But let me ask you if I put in some effort no but if 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 my dress code is not if uh, okay I'm, I'm easy I'm a street guy so I must like dress must, must it be casual No, uh, uh, there's suit. no rule that you wear suit. You just dress smart. Just not a jersey because the way you put it no. a jersey is not smart. Uh-uh. Hata kama tumeshinda Champions Chukua League. Chukua t-shirt hata ile ya 150 plain. Hata kama tumeshinda Champions League. Usi buy Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Crocs. Usi buy Crocs. So, someone in the audience said, uh-huh. uh, they, they do Crocs but expensive Crocs. Uh, expensive Crocs. So Seriously. Come on. Apana. I <laughs> got 5k, 3k, mm-hmm. but the crocs. Mm-hmm. Crocs ni crocs. And yeah. another thing, um while having your dinner or your lunch, you know, mm. you're on your date, it's good to really have at least some good body language. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. apart from body language also uh language like generally oh, i mean okay. you can't be don't be so vulgar you know oh, yeah. yeah don't oh, be yeah. so vulgar uh, uh-huh. yeah Oster. and speaking of body language you just can't be like <laughs> come on be the lady that you are it's okay be yourself but again uh. It really Ataka matters. Mbe boy ka mid date. Hey. Just just play Do the body language. Some men will just talk non-stop. Aki will just get bored. Actually that's another thing men. Don't don't go all out about it's just you, it's just you, yes. it's just you. So you know I have my pride on. Yes. So yeah. you know what? Red flag. Oh, red flag. Ati I have my Prado, I have my TX, I have my Mercedes. <laughs> Let me see it. Don't <laughs> Uh-uh. Red flag. No red flag. Let me see it. Okay, okay. Don't okay. talk big. Okay. Yeah, okay. don't talk big. Mm-hmm. Also mm-hmm. Uh, being on your phone. Yes, on being on your phone. Yeah. Uh-uh. Picking calls during the day. It's rude. It's rude, yeah. Very rude. Both do not to do that. Both. Again. This applies for both. <laughs> both. Okay, guys. Um I don't know how you like to approach your date scene. Not dating, but date scene first date mm-hmm. let us know in the comments we uh, can only give our perspectives edith has spoken mm-hmm. for herself mm-hmm. being the low she is you want to let them know of your where, do, where, where where can they find you because okay let me tell you what i know about you you are one lady who nice who likes to dress up and show up this is a subscriber of the mantra oga <coughs> piga shower gel step out go have fun <laughs> ladies not necessarily on dates mm. yeah parting shot again um my instagram handle is edith mm. lowercase mm. underscore otieno Running underscore below the screen. yeah yeah edith otieno mm. on twitter mm-hmm. same on thread like instagram and thread oh you on thread already come on hey. come hey. on now hey. come hey. on hey. Hey, girl. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 yes. And I will rot you know on TikTok. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, subscribe to the show guys. Lords underscore lunch. Your host Lord Erazia. Was good to have you here. Comment, share, subscribe. Share, share, share. See you in the next episode. Join the live audience. 
Instagram, always on. Shoot on Sundays. Thank you so much. Come again. See you next week. Bye. Ciao. <laughs>